Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part three of our series of video related to Tally's latest release 6.1, where we are covering the major feature related to GST, that is the functionality of IMS. In the last video, we saw how easy it is for us to download the IMS directly from Tally without even logging into your GST portal. In this video, we will see how are we going to reconcile the data that we have downloaded from IMS and reconcile with the invoices that we have accounted of the supplier is what we will see. Let us go to Tally and explore the feature of reconciling IMS inward supply invoices. In this session, we shall explore how to view and reconcile potential matches in IMS inward supplies report. Potential mismatch could prevent transactions from being reconciled like document number or document date or GSTIN or UIN where there is a mismatch or where the data is not captured. With potential match feature, you can quickly identify and fix the differences very easily. Now to view the IMS report, what do we do? Click on go to and just type IMS and here you select invoice management system IMS. Select this and this is where we are going to see the IMS invert supply screen. The top portion here, if you notice, it provides statistical information of IMS status and action to be taken. So total there are 77 transactions. Of that, if you notice, invoices filed by supplier is 46. Out of 46 invoices, if you see here, action taken ready for upload is the option. There are 31 vouchers which are ready for upload which means Tally has automatically matched these invoices with the vouchers that we have captured in our Tally based on the entry with this downloaded information. The next on top here, we will see action required where it says there are 15 invoices where now the user needs to act on this invoice or basically you have to now start reconciling these 15 invoices and you have to find out what is the mismatch or what is the missing information for these 15 invoices. The next section invoices it to be filed by the supplier. There are 31 invoices you have accounted but invoices have not been uploaded or probably there could be a mismatch. So we will see how to handle this. Of this it says 10 vouchers action is required and out of this action taken ready for upload is 21. We will see this part in our next video in detail. First let us understand the top section that is invoices filed by supplier and the first item here is the action required for 15 transactions. So let us select the action required and enter. We will view the list of invoices which says available only on portal. Now actually you would have accounted the invoice as I mentioned earlier but due to either document number being wrongly captured or the document date may not have been captured in our books of account or there could be a GSTIN or UIN mismatch. You could have captured a wrong GSTIN or you would have selected a party as a registered dealer but maybe you would have not captured the GSTIN of the Party. Now this has to be reconciled. This is exactly what we are going to do to reconcile our entry now. First let us select the potential matches. If you see here on the right hand side button bar, you have this potential matches. Tally will automatically bring your book entry with the portal invoices wherever there is a potential match. So let us click on potential match which is keyboard shortcut is F8. 
click here and you will get this message which says potential matches will be shown for the period selected in IMS invert supply which is the current period that we have selected if you want to change the period you can change the period let us continue with the selected period just press T or click on continue and now you will see the potential matches that tally has identified and it is getting listed if you notice here there are three sections section a says excluding document number and document date here where there is a mismatch in our data with regards to document number and document date will be classified here the second part it says excluding gst in uin document number and document date here if you notice the top section the invoices which are getting listed here is also getting listed here so don't get confused there are two invoices because this section also includes the mismatch or missing information related to document number and document date but once you reconcile the document number and document date in the top section automatically this will get reconciled and the invoice which is repeating here will also get eliminated and only those invoices where there is a mismatch in the GST or UN will be retained here which we have to do it and we will see how are we going to handle this third one we are seeing here is available only on the portal after setting the potential matches these are the invoices available only on the portal we will come to this later and understand what action is required let us now reconcile the first exception we'll go to the top one where it says excluding document number and document date look at the party ram traders here the document number as per party data is purchase 64 25 26 but notice the document number here in tally everything is correct but i think by mistake this person has entered six twice so that is why there is a mismatch by the way any transaction that you see in blue font is the data from the portal you have to keep this in mind and important thing you have to understand this whole exercise that we are trying to do is to reconcile our information which we have downloaded the invoices from the portal reconcile them take action accordingly and we are going to upload this into our ims dashboard on the gst portal which we will see in the upcoming videos now how do we correct this error it is very simple take the cursor to the portal data which is the blue color font data press space bar to select and from the right hand side button bar if you see there is a button which says copy document number and date from portal the keyboard shortcut is alt w so what we are doing is that since this is the data that we had downloaded from the portal when you click on copy document number and the date from the portal tally will automatically update the supplier invoice number that we have entered to the correct number that is reflecting on the portal so it will automatically replace so let's click on copy document number and you will get this information that this will copy the document number and document date from the portal to the books this is what i mentioned now it says do you want to continue all you have to do is just press enter and now it has replaced the error data that we have captured in tally under the supplier invoice field and now if you notice if you come down it says that this transaction has been reconciled again notice here it is blue color which means now this you are you have taken action which says you have accepted this invoice and it says it is reconciled which means now it is ready for uploading let us go to the next use case notice here vrl traders there is one invoice which is 67 25 26 and there is an invoice 67 25 26 but there is one hash here and there is one more invoice for the same amount 1500 90 and 90 69 25 26 so here basically system will not know to which invoice you need to actually apply the reconcile or accept the portal data to your invoice that you have accepted so you have two invoices now if you try to copy like the way we did earlier let us see what happens so we come here select this and when you say copy document number and data from the portal you will get this message it says unable to copy the 
document number and date from the portal data as there are multiple matches for this transaction. You can manually update the required detail in the books. So which means Tally says I am not able to determine to which invoice I have to set this or reconcile with. So the user needs to now check the invoice that they have accounted and select that particular invoice and update to the information that is reflected as per the portal. So let us say instead of 67, we are going to select this entry, which is again, if you notice here, this is a normal black font, which is our data in tally. So I'm going to select this. So this particular transaction is selected. And now when you come here on the right hand side button bar, you have another option which says manually update document number and date. So now click on this. So Tally is now asking you what is the correct one as per the portal. So the correct one is here actually we are going to change this. We are going to say 67, 25, 26. This is what is the correct document number as per the portal information for that transaction value. Date is fine. Enter. It says do you want to accept? accept enter and you will notice that the second transaction also has been reconciled and if you notice these invoices have been removed from your first exceptional block and also removed from the second exceptional block now assuming that you have reconciled all these exceptions and if there are any additional transaction that is getting listed here which means there is a mismatch in the GSTIN or UIN. Now in this case, you have to correct this manually. Let me show you how are we going to correct this manually right from this report. So let's say that check these traders, there is a mismatch in the GSTIN or UIN. So select the transaction as per our book and all you have to do is just press enter. When you press enter, you will be taken to the purchase invoice. So now click on party account and for you to alter the party master either from a report or from any voucher. Remember the keyboard shortcut is control enter. When you press control enter, it will take you to ledger alteration screen. Now here, if you have selected regular and if you have not captured the GST, that is the exception that you will get there. Capture the GST or if you have wrongly captured the GST, make the correction and then now one more aspect you have to keep in mind because this transaction has already been captured. So you have to make sure that in the party subscreen where the place of supply and the GST gets captured automatically from the master also needs to be corrected in this case since we have modified the GST in the master. So in case when you are pressing enter, if the cursor is moving to the next field, without opening the subscreen, all you have to do is just press F12 configure and just make sure the first option provide supply detail is yes. The other options could be no. So let me make this as no, not an issue and press control A. And now when I press enter, you will get this party detail here where this will be blank if you have not captured. So you have to capture again here the GST or if it is a wrong GST, you have to do the correction. So since these are entries already been captured, so make this corrections, control A and you can save this voucher. And once you save this voucher, automatically this information also will get moved to the reconcile status. In the next video, we shall further cover other actionables. I hope you would have got a uh, idea of how easy, simple it is to take action on the invoices uploaded by the supplier and especially the potential match that is going to help you to quickly identify the transaction of potential match and see how quickly we can rectify. So in the upcoming video, we will see a couple of more reconciling activities where the vouchers are available only on the portal. What is the action that we need to take? Thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.